We created a custom map with over 40 islands and we gave these islands to every single member in the community and we told them to do whatever they want with their island. So this is the video that we'll be showing today. I'm going around on that special map. We're taking a look at some of the bases and seeing what some people do. Some of the areas in the, the footage was taken on the mainland, which does not belong to anybody. And some of the footage was taken on each island. So there's one to 40 islands, if I'm not mistaken, like for maybe 41 islands. And each person has a dedicated island where they got to go and do something special. Whatever they like, it's up to them. It's their rules. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this. And Why am I always surprised when I join one of my servers to take a look at what's actually going on? It's just... I, 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 <laughs> people are amazing in so many ways. You give them a sandbox game and you give them blocks and then they just do their thing. It's like a, a real life experiment. It's amazing. So we're going around taking a look at some of the bases today uh, on the VIP server. We're going to take a look at all some really, 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 really good stuff I've seen so far. It just took me a while to find some of it, but we'll, we'll get through all of it. Now, I just, I, I'm not going to show one section of the space because this guy's put up a really bad sign and YouTube's not going to like that, so I'm going to avoid the sign. I, I bet you all of you guys are probably like wondering what the hell that sign is. I, I'm not going to show you guys, but look at this, guys. There was nothing here. All right, nothing. He, he went and built this thing entirely on his own. I don't know who built this, guys. I wish you guys would put the names on the bases. But the towers... Really, really, really cool design because these towers are functional. You can stand up here and you can shoot down on the zombies. Like most of my towers that I make are not very functional. That's a functional tower. Little spikes. Never thought about doing a wall like this. And the, the, one of the things that really highlighted the space was this thing. I didn't even know there was a block like this. It looks like a, a canopy gazebo type of thing, right? Look at that. That is such a cool idea! I didn't know there was a block like that! That's amazing, man. I love that. And then he's got his hydroponics farm inside here as well. So if you guys do not know, on our servers, we have a hydroponics farming mod. And people can go and uh, use a hydroponics instead. And here is his... Uh, he's not online at the moment. He is! Sniper! Oh, nice! I know this guy! Sniper, you're gonna get in trouble for your sign! So the sign that he put up is over here, right? I can't show you what's said on the slide, guys. It's a bit, it's a little bit sensitive. Uh, but yes, all the storage. Very good job, Sniper. Very, very, very good job. I love what you got going on here. This is excellently done. And he has a neighbor. His neighbor is living right over here. So just for clarification, guys, this map that we're currently running is a custom map. And I had the opportunity to go and place a bunch of uh, random buildings and POIs and in different locations on the map. And this was one of the areas that I placed down. All these buildings that I placed down here were empty. The reason for this is so players had the opportunity to take them over and turn them into bases. And, th and that's exactly what they did. So here was one of the buildings that they took over and kind of... Turn it into like a base, like a proper base. Like these towers weren't here. He built them towers on the corners. And the, the only thing that was here is the building. You can see that the buildings were empty. And now he has to obviously go and decorate them. I love this room. I love this room. This room is so cool. Look at this. He's got his, uh, it's this super corn, I think. And he's got his hydroponics in here. This is amazing, man. Good job. Produce flowers, seeds. This is, oh man. That hydroponics little farm, it just, it just makes the game so much nice. And you go up to this floor here, and he's got himself set up so nicely here. Look at this. I wonder whose base this is, actually. Guys, the drones. Pick up the drones. Pick up the drones. I see he's used these things. I I've done this in my videos before, where you use these broken glass things, and you can actually access the boxes through here. It just makes it look so much neater. It's like built into the wall. And he's got his forges and... Oh, I love this, man. So clean. So, so clean. And even this little workbench. He's tucked it in the wall like that. Even the uh, this, this side as well. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So turrets. And he's built himself one of these on here so he can land a gyrocopter. We're selling these at the custom trader on the server so you can buy those. And he's got his bed right at the tip top. That's a bed fit for a king. 
And then he's got a little shop in the front as well. So if you guys are playing on the, the server, you can come by and uh, check what he's selling. Has he got anything underground? Nothing underground. Man, that is awesome. He's put these things in, 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 the, in the ground here, but they don't actually do anything. It's more for decoration. So, there you go. Okay, so this whole town here is practically empty. You can see all these buildings here have no one living in them and don't have anything. There's even a little trader here. This is a custom trader. If you come to this side, there's like three traders in here. So these people are living right next to a trader, which is really cool. Uh, there is another base on this side, which I'm not sure. I think it's a Horde Knight base. I think that's what he's going for here. You can see this is, just look at it. Just look at this amazing maze. I love, I love the color scheme. I love the color scheme. Very, 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 very well done. We've got some turrets on the top as well. And if you come through here, then, well, the zombies have to step on the pressure plate. And then I, I assume the uh, dart guns go off, the electric fence shocks them. And then you stand on the side and you uh, fight the zombies as they come through. And you can see he's set up quite nicely here. This actually reminds me of someone, someone's style of building. Let's see here. So he's got all, all set up here. Look at this. Nicely designed, nicely set up. So yeah, that's uh, probably uh, it's probably just a Horde Knight base. I don't see anything else in here besides uh, running a Horde Knight there. Okay, good job. So we have a two bases here. This is actually... <laughs> Guys, I'm seeing this base everywhere now. Again, I'm going to mention this. I built this base on one of my videos. And there is someone that goes around and just does this, this base. And I'm, I really like it. I'm really happy he does it because I'm proud that, you know, someone will go and take one of my base builds and use them on my server. That's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is nice, man. Good job. Uh, is it, how is this working out for you? Is this base working out nicely or is it too small? Do I need to redo it? I think it's pretty cool. There was someone driving around over there. Uh, but there is, a, I think there's a Horde Knight base up this side. Yeah. So he spends his Horde Knight right over here. Nothing too special about that. That looks very much like... It's very similar to my style of building. I always love to use these uh, security gates in my builds. Very, very, very similar to my style. Okay. It's a little Horde Knight, that's all. Okay, he's put a, he's put a sledge turret here for the vultures, I'm assuming. It's actually not a bad, uh, bad idea. Because it's like... Vultures are not going to do too much damage to this thing. You have to keep uh, replacing it. Nice. I wonder if this person's online, though. I doubt it. So let's just see quickly. We can go to their bread roll. And no, this person's not online. Ah, keep it up. So we're coming on to one of the islands. So this is, uh, so you guys obviously know, this, this is the island server. There's a whole lot of islands on this map. And this is one of them. I believe this is island one. And this is what this person's done. He's put up a wall to stop people from coming in, which is completely fine. Uh, we actually really like that. I, I like when people put up walls and stuff. So it just like separates them from the other people. And it doesn't look like he's doing much on his island. He's got this, uh, this tower he's used, a POI. And he's living inside this little, uh, little box here. He's not online at the moment. I'm assuming that when he gets more time, he's going to go and uh, create a lot more cool stuff here. Probably spends his horde night here as well. Nice, so that's all about, that's about all he has on his island, as far as I've seen. So if I go up here, you can see this is his island. So I hope to see more stuff on there in the future. So this is island number two, if I'm not mistaken. And I love, I absolutely love what this person's done for a Horde Knight base, guys. This is a POI. This is one of the custom POIs that are on the, uh, on the server. And this person's gone and kind of turned it into like a bit of a hobbit, a hobbit hole. And turn that into a Horde Knight base. That's just so cool. Look at that. It, it just looks like it was always there. It's like meant to be. Brilliantly done. And then, yeah, so it's your straightforward base. You've got them turrets. You've got them electric fences. What else is here? Nothing else. Just that, eh? Okay. And then there's dart guns. Oh. I see. So that's a fallback point. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So if this person, however doesn't manage to hold off the horde knight here they can then run back into i assume this area here oh wow this is actually way more advanced than i thought so 
So there's like a couple of fallback points. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is interesting. It's, it's like she's living under here. So, okay, so the zombies get through there. She can fall back all the way to this point. And then, you know, she's got them dart guns she can use. It's interesting, actually. And then uh, this is where he or she is mining. I don't know why I think it's a she for some reason. Uh, look at this. It's a whole mine shaft. So it's custom POI, so it's quite big. It's kind of taken over. You can climb these ropes, by the way, guys. Look at this. Look at that. That's so cool. I wish we can craft these. Can you craft them? I don't think you can. But yeah, you can climb those ropes. So yeah, it's a really cool uh, Horde Knight base. That's actually your main base as well. Man, I wish people would put their names in the bases. I'd love to know who this, who these people are. As far as I know, this all that this person has done to the island. You can see this is this is the island. Got a very, very, very big island here. Look at this. There's a couple of POIs over there, but there's nothing really going on besides just that little area here. And she has not blocked off her uh, her entrance neither as well. I have to say, I have to say, I'm quite jealous of your guys' builds. <laughs> I am quite jealous. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is so my style. This is so my style. I absolutely love this one. This is by far my favorite so far. This is so my style. It's got these little bunkers. Look at this. It's like little bunkers you can stand at. So cool. I love it. Who built this? I want to, oh, come on, put your name on that base. We've got a little uh, normal fence here. Oh, I love this. I'm so far behind in my base builds. Oh, look at this. It's like a, a bit of a bunker. Oh. It feels like a, a, a POI. Yeah, it feels like a normal building. There was nothing here previously. Man. I like bases where you can kind of feel safe, right? There's, like, you feel really safe inside here. Bars on the windows. And then it's got a downstairs, but how far does this actually go down? This goes really far down. Look at this. This is, I'm assuming... No, this is insane. Whoever built this, whoever built this needs a, a reward for sure. This is crazy. I like the little uh, the little bench here. That's uh, interesting. I mean, just the small details like this with the pipes and stuff is pretty insane. I don't think this was a POI. No, there was nothing here. There was nothing here. This person has built. This feels like a, a normal building in the game, right? This doesn't feel like a. Uh, doesn't feel like um, so, like like someone built it, right? It's just too good. Still building their garage here as well. I like the piping work on the sides. Man. I would love to run a Horde Knight and yeah, with like 20 people. Obviously it's not meant for Horde Knight, but it'll be fun nonetheless, I think. And then across the road from that, we have a Horde Knight base. So here you go. There's a little Horde Knight base going on here. Pretty straightforward, just, just that line where the zombies walk across and you hit them from there. I do believe that these blocks here make them fall in, by the way. Nice. Uh, Embassy of United Kingdom, okay. What's this? Closed for repairs. Another base here, it's behind that other base we saw. A lot of people, like I always said, guys, people love to uh, congregate around each other for some reason. They, they don't feel so lonely, they want to be together, right? The top here, you go here, and then I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, still doing repairs, so hopefully in future we can come back here and be like, it's a massive base or something. Box Bambi with an arrow pointing that way. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, that's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's a sci-fi box Bambi. You know, that's a that's not too bad, right? Let's just say that. Sci-fi box Bambi is not as bad as a normal box Bambi. Right, we got some glass, we got some hydroponics in here. It's fine, okay? It's totally fine. Sci-fi box Bambi for the win. And it's not entirely boxy, right? You have put something 
on the corners to try and stop it from being a box, but yeah, good job. And then I don't know what this person's doing. Maybe, maybe this box, maybe he's making a bigger box. I don't know. Only time will tell. There are so many bases here. And this is not even the custom islands, guys. The custom islands, this is all on the, uh, the mainland. Everyone's building on the mainland, it seems. Or a large majority of people. And this is probably, uh, yeah, so this is just normal base. Still under construction, so it's getting there. It's taking some time. It looks like uh, some sort of castle perimeter walls. So it's going to have round, uh, round towers in the corners. Okay, keep it up. Another base on the uh, further end. Another Horde Knight base. People love to use these things here, I see that. And I've noticed people love using the rounded windows. Definitely a fan favorite, that's for sure. I love your window style here, look at this. You know, one of these days, I'm going to have a hard time doing these videos because it's just like, it becomes to a point where there's not much to say anymore, but just to show you guys, you know? <laughs> I mean, here's another. This is this is a, a a horde night base and a normal base. It looks like something from space, right? You know, like a set, uh, one of the uh, space stations. Um, the use of block work here is just incredible. Uh, I don't know how people have so much time to do this. I I really I have no patience to sit and find the blocks that connect each other here. I really don't. But anyway, horde the horde night will come up this maze of a mess here. And they'll get cut up, which is, I love the color. I love how this works. I wonder how it actually works though. Like it works really well. Must do. Lots of electric fences. There's lots of stuff for the zombies to get through. And by the time they get to this point, hopefully you can actually fight them from here. Yeah, so now we get to explore the inside. Is this all open? Can I walk around? No, okay. So... This person's made great use of their space. I love that sound. You know the, the humming sound from the uh, the battery bank? I love it. Okay, we go up here. Yeah, this looks like something from uh, like a space station. And then, oh, you know, you know, actually, you know what it reminds you of, guys? It reminds me of, um, you know, when you uh, like a, when you're a kid, and even today, I think they still got it. Uh, you go to McDonald's, and they got those like uh, jungle gyms, and they got these rounded bits you got to climb through. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it reminds me of that. And I remember you would go to the top and look out the window and it used to be always very hot because you used to make it go like outside and the window was boiling hot in there. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. But this is incredible. Whoever built this, good job. And then you got a very, very, very top here. Nice view from here. You can see everybody from here. All the tree bambies and box bambies. Everybody can be seen from here. And on the very, 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 very top, he's got his farming. Like, actual farming. No hydroponics. Only one hydroponics. Whoever you are, good job. There's no name as far as... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow! So I know this person. Natural born target. Great job. Thank you for putting your name on the, uh, the base. I really appreciate that. Let me just see what's underneath here. Nothing really going on under here, is there? Oh, this person's connected with the, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So this is a very scary custom building here. It's like a cult of some kind, right? So she's kind of connected her underground with that. This is kind of her base as well. Okay. And then she's got this thing here, whatever this is. It's a box. It's a shop. She's selling some stuff. Very interesting design choice. And then this probably goes, yeah, this, uh, this is this is a whole base here. This is everything. This goes underneath System to her parking garage, which she's st still working on. These bloody drones, guys, they're everywhere. And then this just goes through here, and she can actually access her main base from there. Oh, looky here! Someone is inside their Horde Knight base, fighting some zombies. Who's this? Frag. Oh no. Should we make their day a little bit more scary, right? Let's put some, uh, some ferals here. Let's see what she, uh, what she does. So 25 hazmat ferals. Let's see. <laughs> Go! 
<laughs> yeah, go, go and eat her! Scare her! I wonder what she's gonna do now. I'm just gonna stand there? Not phased. Not phased. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's, it's like made out of steel and everything. So this base here, I'm assuming this is actually frag space. Let's actually just quickly, uh, oh wow, this, this zombie can actually get in there. Oh my goodness, the zombie's in there. Okay. She, he will be okay, don't worry. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming this is frag space, right? Yeah, so there's the bed. The bread roll. Looking pretty good, I like the tower design. Going up, okay. Very open design though, I'm not sure if I feel too safe with that, you know, imagine you're busy here and a cop zombie goes and spews that nonsense at you. So I feel very, um, not too safe with an open design, but I like the tower design you got going on here, even this little area here is great. Y you can see you've definitely tried very, very hard with the block work, right? I, I, I really appreciate that. Most people would just go ahead and just place a, a big normal blocks down and just go up and that'll be it right but you really tried to make it look unique and that's awesome and you got your hydroponics at the top good job good job good job good job did she survive that uh, yeah of course she or she sorry he definitely survived that hazmat problem one if uh, he knew but me reach. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I don't think you want that. I don't think you want that. Let's not start something we can't finish now, can we? And then Frag has a neighbor here. Very plain. Not much going on yet. It's just a house with a wall around it. Uh, welcome to Ace and Silvers. Very clean looking, which is also good. Not too messy. Not too much clutter going around. But very plain at the moment. It's one of those concrete cities, no garden, no nothing. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I think you have a lot of potential here. Definitely looking forward to coming by and taking a look what you've done. But at the moment, it's just a house, which is, which is good, nice and clean. A little farm over here as well. Keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. Okay, we come on down to Island 21, owned by Fusion. And the reason why I wanted to come to this island specifically, because this base is very unique. I love the way this is looking, and I thought we'll take a look at this. I haven't seen anything like this before in Seven Days to Die, and I thought that this is just, this is great, right? I don't know how well it actually works, because it's a very large build, and I honestly don't see the zombies actually pathing very well here. However, it, it, it is existing, right? It is here, and he has set it up, which makes me think it does work, and I'm entirely wrong. Because, yeah, everything is set up. She probably spends Horde night. Yeah, this is Fusion. This is uh, really well done. This is maybe one of your best builds you've ever done, I think, so far. I, I hope to see you finish it and color it and paint it. And are you going to do something at the top? I think he's still going, yeah. And then you go inside. Let's look for where he's actually living. So he lives down below here. You can see he's got everything going on here. And Fusion, this is great. You keep it up. I'm looking forward to coming here in the future, taking a look what else you've done. Okay, welcome to Crybaby's Island. Not sure what number this is, but this is Crybaby's Island, and this is what she's done so far. I, I love the fact that she's put roads down. I thought that was cool, because he's just popped up, and that looks frigging sexy. And then this is the tower. So most, most of the islands all got this tower, and, you know, the players had an option whether they wanted to stay in the tower, or do it up or knock it down or whatever. They all got the tower just to kind of start off. And she's kind of done it up and colored it and actually looks pretty good. I'm assuming that's where she started off. So I, I believe Crybaby and Maxian um, are together. I'm not sure. <laughs> I always get muddled up with the names. But I love the color work. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite familiar with Crybaby's work, right? She's pretty good at what she does here. She always uses very much the same colors. And very similar style in building. And I love the way she's kind of used the environment to advantage here. So she's got a bit of a, a nice view from here. And then if you come on down to this side. There's two bases here. Which makes me think one's Maxian and one's Crybaby. But we'll see. Uh, this one. Oh man. This is looking so. This looks so good. 
this looks this looks excellent this is this is really well done i love the windows i love i love this this is really 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 good hang on this dang freaking weather guys hang on it's like your headquarters right your island headquarters i love this kitchen this is so well done this is like like a, another poi that we're looking at here man good job good job to you you just keep it up well that's about all we have for today guys if you want to join up on the server it is about one dollar a month to join a vrp server if you can't afford that we do have a public server you can join all you have to do is just come and join my discord all the details are there come and get to be a part of the community say hello to me say hello to everybody you're all more than welcome to thanks guys